Welcome to Chile and Chile Chico. We made it across the border from Los Antigos and now we're spending our first proper day exploring the region. Uh, we've taken a tour to the marble caves from Chile Chico. We're gonna be able to tell you how we're doing that as it seems to be a very tricky area to get around. We arrived in Chile Chico after a night bus from El Charton, changing into a small shuttle bus to cross the border. It's a small town with limited stores and choice there's a money exchange called Martin Pescador where you can also book tours. We stayed at Hotel Ventura, a friendly but very basic accommodation, and got picked up for our tour the next day. Welcome to Puerto Rio Tranquillo. We've just got here from Chile Chico. It's taken about four hours on the minibus as part of the tour. Uh, we found very little information as to how to get to this place. It seems to be that buses only go on certain days of the week. So for us, it was easier to take the stress away and do this tour. Hopefully it'll all be worth it. This is the lake here. Name escapes me, I'll drop it right here. And we are about to get on a small boat to go and see the Marble Caves. Let's go. <laughs> We're about to get on, I'm assuming, this boat over here to go for the Marble Caves. Hopefully not the one right next to it, it looks kind of small. So it turns out, this is not a boat, it's going to be this one. The caves are accessible by boat tour or kayaking. There are a group of cabins and columns made of marble that have been formed by wave erosion over the last 6,000 years. The best time to visit is in the morning, as the blue of the lake is best reflected in the caves, as you can see on Google Images. The tour lasted an hour, ending with a visit to the Marble Cathedral, where some people have got married. Then it was time for the long journey home. Unfortunately, our minibus ripped a tyre, so luckily we caught a local bus and weren't stuck for long. Hey, welcome to the hotel vlog from Chili Chico. It's a Sunday, yesterday we did our tour. Today we were just chilling in our room, catching up with some videos and editing, and we decided let's go out and get something to eat. Everything is closed. Like everything. We found one supermarket. Um, this hotel doesn't have a kitchen, even though they've got pictures of a kitchen on their booking site. Um, so, we've had to make do. This is gonna be our dinner before it's made. Got some tuna. A lovely bit of tomato sauce. Uh, we've got a bit of leftover cheese, so that's gonna be pretty much it, and we've got some bread to dip in it. For protein though, we did pick up some peanuts. Without and salt. We also have some cookies left over from yesterday. So that's our, and oh, got If peaches. we really want, we've got, we've got some tinned peaches. There's nothing really here. There's only a few um, vendors at the bus station and they all seem to point you to the other one mm. to go and see. Um, we managed to book a ferry. It drops us Ibanez. off in Puerto Ibanez, Ibanez and then we're hoping to get a bus to Quihake. They literally just recommended to hitch. And there's lots of people hitchhiking up and down this road here but there's no cars going through. It's literally like a ghost town. Um, so our recommendation, maybe don't go to Chile Chico. Um, if you need to go to the Marble Caves, you then can, you can go from Kahiki. You can also go from Puerto Rio Tranquillo, which is just on the base, but it seems like a town that is built just around town. the tourism that is going to the caves. And you can look left and right, and that is the town. It seems really difficult to get around this region. Definitely, if you're coming here, plan in advance. So that's why we're struggling a little bit, but I mean, it's all part of it. And we've had to get creative with dinner, but we're not going to starve. And then tomorrow, we're going to get to Kaheki, which is the capital city of this region. Of so we're going to have our dinner now and hopefully it will be fine. Yeah.
With some intense Spanish, we managed to get a bus connection after our ferry and arrived in Kaheki. With many shops and facilities, including an outdoor gym and viewpoints of the forest, it was a welcome change from Chichiko. Hey there, welcome to our new hostel room. As you can see, it's a little bit cramped, but the beds are super comfy. We are in Patagon Backpackers in Koi Hake, which is the main capital of the ASIN region. So far, despite the room size, it's been the best one so far. The showers are super warm, uh, the beds are super comfy, breakfast is well provided for. It feels like more of a guest house, it's very new here. You have large underbed storage. You also have good duvets, good pillows, and good company. Gemma? Yes? A natural supermarket. Oh my god! We've made it to the Quilat National Park. It's taken quite a long time to get here, as per usual. Uh, we had to queue for ages, even though there was only about 10, 15 people in front of us to get a ticket entry, which we were told was included in the price we've had to pay anyway. We haven't actually paid for the tour yet, so hopefully, um, hopefully it is included a bit later on. And now, we're in another line, which is to cross the main suspension bridge, which goes up to the Hanging Glacier. It's only a capacity of four people at a time and everyone's wanting to stop to have photos. But that's okay because we're going to stop and have photos too. The Kilat National Park, as you might be able to see, is actually a rainforest. And I would have never have known before coming to Chile and Patagonia that there was a rainforest this far south. And what is even more confusing is that we're going to see a glacier sat on top of a mountain. So we're still trying to get to the end of the trail for the glacier. We've come across quite a treacherous path. It's really muddy on foot here. And as you can see, in trainers, we're not the best equipped. But we're doing it, it's fine. Who needs hiking shoes? Yeah, um, we've been like this for the whole of Patagonia and we've made it thus far without major issues. So, who cares? Turns into a waterfall. Step on the bits that haven't got water on them. Okay, and we've made it to the viewpoint. Um, there's a lot of people here, so we're just going to get in, take a couple of photos, and then get down for our collectivo that goes back to Koihig in about an hour. And it took us about an hour and a half to get here, so we're going to have to go quickly. Bye. We're on our way back down to the van now and we bumped into two of the other people that are in our collectivo so we are on track and on time 
and if we're all back late, it's fine because there's more of us than just us two. We headed back to Kuihiki and prepared to fly to Santiago and that's coming next. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next episode. Bonus clip! I promise you like up. <laughs> Would you like to get the apricot out of your bag and I can help you? <laughs> Okay, just bite into it like a plum. Why did you just, just eat it in one? Like? <laughs> yeah, no. You just bite off it like you That's would weird. It's a like, plum it's or like an apple. It's like fur. If it, if it